Bar here for B-Sides at Outside Lands 2023, the 15th anniversary of the big event. And what an occasion that we are blessed with. Nora and Pure <laughs> joining us, one of the performers. Hello. Hi, thanks How for having you? me. Good. I I'm always happy to be back in San Francisco, even though it's a little chilly. Yeah, I was going to say, you are dressed <laughs> for the occasion as opposed to some others. <laughs> right. But we uh, are in your element right here. Oh, yeah. Nature. Oh, it was stunning. Such a stunning place. And the crowd was huge and we're loving it. It was great. I loved it. San Francisco, Golden Gate Park in particular, is so <laughs> historic. Mm -hmm. And you've been here so many times. Did you Have you had a chance to come and explore and hang out? I was once visiting the park for a few hours, but that was about it. It usually it's in and out and I see too little of the places that I go to um, but I know that San Francisco has a lot to offer then again often the weather is a bit <laughs> it is <laughs> yeah we are being drenched by Benunu right now <laughs> yeah I, I learned that <laughs> <laughs> literally it, they actually named the fog it's named Carl Carl the fog oh that I heard okay All right, so you know a little bit <laughs> yeah somehow it, drink, it most, rings a bell this is probably the most amount of time you've hung out in a park here right San Francisco. No, I've been more. I've been more. Okay. Walking, hi hiking. Hiking. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was it like growing up in South Africa? Is it because you weren't in that and that's why you have that appreciation? Or um, you did have that and it gives you a sense of home? Yeah, more of that, I think. Uh, when I was young, we spent so much time in the wilderness with animals and just nature. So I grew up listening to sounds of the wilderness and that is what grounds me still nowadays it's actually the only thing that grounds me nature and that is also what inspires me musically and what I try to bring into my tracks and even in the sets to make you know that peace and calmness translate to the audience um, especially nowadays that we have such busy lives and we're distracted with phones and always connected and always busy um, that I I feel it's uh, something strong that humanity nowadays is missing a little bit that's something that you touched upon, I feel like a lot of people, I'm here, based here in San Francisco, I live in San Francisco, and that a lot of us are very appreciative that we have this mm -hmm. literally outside our door mm -hmm. because we are distracted. This is a very technologically oh, yeah. driven <laughs> area, yeah, right? Yeah. So just be, let's go for a hike Yeah. and we can do that. Yeah. No, that is amazing. Same in Switzerland. I'm based in Switzerland now. We have the mountains. It's basically now a backyard. We have to drive maybe 30 minutes we're in the freaking mountains it's beautiful no sound just fresh air <laughs> and stunning scenery i love that too i appreciate when you work somewhere where you can just go in the nature and you can switch off like that is your house where you live surrounded by trees pretty much i mean i'm close to the airport because i need to be you know <laughs> um you're very practical yeah always time efficient is a, is a huge thing for me <laughs> yeah um but yeah i i have a dog so i want to be out there and and I don't want to hear traffic I don't want to you know so we're in a village that is very uh, you know settled uh, nestled into nature um, but we're still like 10 15 minutes away from the airport so <laughs> a lot of convenience yeah a lot of convenience yeah, yeah. what kind of dog do you have I have one too and I take him out to literally there's a dog park here at Golden Gate Park that I take him to w which dog is yours uh, he's a Ridgeback Lab oh. so he's quite big yeah and he has a lot of energy Jack Russell oh <laughs> What's you can that just I? go outside your apartment <laughs> and you can give them all the energy they need, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always off leash. We go running with her a lot. She's all over the place. But she, she's very educated, at least with us. She listens to us, to no one else. But she cuddles with everyone. Cheater. her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so sweet. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure it's very ins uh, helpful to inspire music as well. Being in that environment in Switzerland and now, yeah. you know, here you are at Golden Gate Park, I'm sure... Yeah. If you think about it on yeah. the flight, you know, that you're going off to next. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, right now, what, what really impressed me was actually the fog. At first I was like, oh, it's cold, you know, but while playing and it came even further down and down to where the big trees kind of touched it, I was like, wow, this is a stunning atmosphere and something you don't really expect in August, right? I don't know. I, I love Here it. Here we do. Oh. This <laughs> yeah. is an annual yeah. thing, yes. <laughs> Uh, but I love misty atmospheres like that. I think there's a lot of um, mystery in, in that, you know. Which is very interesting because I discovered you a little late, a little late with mm -hmm. salt water. Uh, oh, yeah. So I, I consider that late. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> so, I'm always oh. fascinated by people that find Spandau Ballet mm -hmm. and that song true. 
Yeah. Because that has been used in other songs as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But yeah, your yeah. use in Saltwater was just such a, like, it just really took it to another level. You thought so? How did, yeah. Did you <laughs> Thank not? Thank you. Thank you. And no, it's just, it's actually true. Many people didn't even connect it. They, they heard it and thought it was original. It was just inspiration from that classic, right? Um, but yeah, it was that particular deep house sound back then and it, it just worked well. It was perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. How did you stumble upon that song? Oh, um, I think I heard that already as a kid. My parents would listen to it. So, you okay. know, back then so it was a classic for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it, it wasn't something where you're like, wow, this is new and to me and I'm going to do something to it. It was just something that was going to back here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. It was a classic. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So now, obviously, you're touring. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what are the plans for, you know, new releases? And what are you listening to that may inform some of that new material? Um, so I have music coming up almost, I would say, every every other month till end of the year. Um, this year I was so productive. Somehow a lot of touring, during the tours I would either go to the studio here in the States or then back home when I'm in Europe. And um, I'm looking to put out more singles rather than EPs. I've always done that, right? I've never ever had an album, which is actually insane in all those years uh, but also nowadays with streaming and so sometimes it doesn't make as much sense like back then to have a physical album or um, form of right. medium right um, so there's a lot of new music anyway okay. <laughs> um, and I'm still I know right now like my sound is not particularly what the trend is because it music always comes and goes in waves and trends and um, right now most of the DJs if I look at that they play quite hard and so and I realize I don't really fit in because I have this chill <laughs> very melodic very organic approach to music um, but I don't really get distracted by that when I'm in the studio I, I forget a little bit what is happening on the stages I just want to do something that can stay for a while, that can touch someone still in 10 years, something timeless, something that is really emotional. That's all what it is about for, mus for me, for in music, emotion, right? Yeah. Um, and originality. So sometimes when I hear the trends and I, I see people following certain things, I don't know, it, it doesn't catch me. I rather, then I turn opposite. <laughs> which, is, which is what you're supposed what you should do as an artist, as a creative, right? Yeah, it just doesn't catch me. If I yeah. hear something too often, I'm like, oh, yeah. no. And it's not genuine if you're like, okay, let me yeah. jump on this trend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah. What are you listening to that is inspiring some of this new material? Or what um, are you embodying? What is your, uh, I, I guess, uh, uh, mood? Difficult to say. I mean, at times we work with um, vocalists and then they bring in an energy and can take it into a different direction but all in, it always turns about around the same thing for like everything nor impure something that goes beyond the superficial layers of maybe even what you've built up what you think is you but sometimes you have those moments you look in the mirror and you think am i really looking at my is that me or is it something i built over the time yeah like i want to go in that really deep in that emotional zone where um, that music will touch you and, and you just feel something that you don't really feel every day you know so it's always something very very deep <laughs> sometimes too emotional maybe but that is what I try to to reach in almost every record and if you ask about inspirations I mean some Netflix series are sometimes quite inspirational they have great soundscapes and I like to make the listener feel like they are part of something, of a scenery, of you know, right. like like here now where we had the fog and the trees, and you just somehow um, have that in your in your vision for a while, and you maybe try to translate that into a mood, into a track, right? So. And that's why <laughs> I love your music, and I, that's, I, I, that's why your fans love your music, is because you are taking them away. 
Oh, I totally try that. Yeah. The, the, the world. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's and it's fantastic. Yeah. I, I really appreciate you taking time <laughs> for chatting. It's so great to meet you. Thank you. You too. And Thank you. we look forward to the new music. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. It's Nora and Pure. We're at Outside Lands with B sides. <laughs>